How are you guys doing today? It's Master Mark Kennar here for another Master's Message. I'm in my car. I went out to get some essential stuff. I needed to get some breakfast food and stuff like that. And uh, there wasn't a lot of people out. It was pretty, pretty, uh, pretty safe out there, I should say. Well, anyways, I'm going to talk to you guys today about uh, two concepts. Uh, one about pursuing or persuading somebody versus attracting. And, uh, you know, I'm talking about the element of becoming great. And one of the things that I learned in my life is... It's a lot easier to attract people and become successful than it is to pursue them. And, uh, you know, I, I, when I first started out, I really tried to pursue people. I tried to convince them to come to my gym and stuff like that. And, you know, it just made me look kind of needy, you know. And the, the thing that stinks about pursuing people, too, is you have to deal with rejection sometimes, you know. And uh, sometimes in my class or even out and about, uh, some of my friends will try to pursue somebody of the opposite sex and, you know, if you pursue too hard, you look like you're needy and then you get rejected and that kind of that's kind of is not a fun feeling to go through. I will say one thing though, it's a lot worse losing a fight than it is getting rejected from a girl, let me tell you. Uh, I'd rather uh I'd rather get rejected by a girl than lose a fight, that's for sure. Uh but that's just me. I don't like getting beat up. It's not a fun experience, that's for sure. Uh but I will tell you guys um uh, I'll give you guys some examples of uh, how I changed my mindset and things like that. So now here's how you got to kind of change your mindset. You got to realize that in order to attract people, you got to become something. And that takes time. That's not something that just happens overnight. All right. When I first started my martial arts school, I was only 19 years old. Like I said, I tried to pursue people. Most people were pretty nice about, it. yeah, I'll come out. And then guess what? They never came out. They were just like, they just were talkers, you know, and uh, they didn't want to tell me, hey, I hate martial arts or I don't, not, I'm not interested in that, or I don't want to be trained by you. You're kind of young. Um, they didn't just tell me that straight out. They were kind of nice about it. Okay. But what you got to do is you got to literally, in order to attract people, you have to put in the discipline and daily work of becoming very good at your craft. And what will eventually happen after a while is people will start remembering who you are from your greatness. Now, when I was younger, I was in high school and we did this vote, like, what are you going to become when you get older? And like some kids were like voted most likely to be this or most likely to be that. And I remember the people in my class voted me most likely to be a salesperson. And I was like, well, I'm going to be a salesman. And one girl was like, he's going to be a used car salesman. And I was like, that sounds pretty difficult to be a used car salesman because what are people attracted to? They're attracted to uh, usually the new cars on the lot, not the used cars, not the 2000 Dodge Neons that are rusted out. That would be really, in order to sell those, you have to be kind of slick or like what they say, like a snake in the grass. You know, those people get that vehicle home. And they're like, why did I buy this? Well, the guy was really good at persuading you, you know, and I don't like being like that. I like to attract people because it's not fun. It's not fun trying to pursue them. Okay. So what did I do? I just kept being myself and I had to realize that, like I had to realize that I had to put in the work. I went to some really big competitions. I studied in college about teaching. I actually went in started teaching in really bad areas of the of, uh, of the town, so to speak, because I knew it was going to be more difficult, more intense to get these kids engaged that didn't want to learn. And uh, and I learned a lot of a lot of things through experience, you know, and then pretty soon people were like, hey, we got to go train with this guy. Another thing that I did was my marketing. I made sure that when I marketed things, I wasn't trying to persuade people. I was trying to attract people. And uh, like one of my buddies downstate, uh, Shane Merrim, he got like a ton of people and you know what? He's got a very attractive personality. You know, he's very good at being able to attract people because he literally knows what to say. He treats people very well and that's attractive quality. Now, when you pursue people, you look like you're needy and nobody wants to be around somebody that's needy all the time. That's not fun. Okay. That's not something that's attractive at all. And then once you pursue someone to come in your gym, then it's kind of like you have to keep pursuing them to stay. And you really want people to come to your gym because they want to learn from you, because they respect you, and they know that there's something different about you. And that's where the attraction lies. That's when you have to go to the big tournaments. You got to learn how to teach well. You got to put in the hard work. You got to be consistent. You got to be dependable. You got to be reliable. You got to do all of these things in order for people to start looking at you like there's something unique or something special about you. And it's a lot of hard work. Okay, it's not something that happens in just a couple days. It's a it's a several like a long time, you know, five years of constant grinding, and people start to hear about you. It's like word of mouth, you know. Um, one of the examples I'll give you is 
when I was younger, I went down to this tournament and uh, it was a Great Lakes Cup and uh, I fought this guy named Russ Gale and I ended up losing. And I remember being mad when I don't get my way or when I lose or I don't get what my goal is, I'm mad for like a whole day. And then after that, I'm not mad anymore. You can ask anybody. I throw a fit when I don't get my way sometimes when I'm like fighting and I lose or something bad happens. Leave me alone for a day and I'll be fine because then I start to think, what mistakes did I make? Well, anyways, I lost to, to Russ Gale and it was a close match. And uh, he came up to me and he was like, hey, man, if you ever want to come down and train with me, you're more than welcome to. That was like the only pursuing he did was walked up and said that to me. He, then he walked away. He just went up and walked away. And uh, I remember thinking, man, he beat me. Like, how did he beat me? Like, this is it's like almost like a mystery to me, you know? This guy beat me at a tournament, you know? I go, well, if he can beat me, I might as well go down and train with him. And I remember going down there and I learned a lot of stuff. And he's a super nice guy and he's a mentor to me. And uh, he says a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff I remember, but the biggest thing is, is what he does. You know, he's a real visionary and, uh, and what he does and what he, how he, he carries himself in life is very inspirational to me. And I know he probably doesn't think of me like I look at him as a mentor, but I actually do. And, uh, and the stuff he's done for me, he's really helped me out as an athlete and helped my athletes out a lot. And uh, now he's great. He's like the best, one of the best coaches in the U.S., I'd say. And he's not trying to persuade people to go to his gym. You know what? He's attracting them. People want to go to him because he's good at what he does. So if you want to learn about attraction, you got to put in the hard work and become that unique individual that's kind of like shiny, you know, like, hey, that, that person's different. And it takes a long time to get like that. If you're trying to persuade somebody, you have to deal with rejection, people saying no to you, and it's just short term. It's not fun. Anytime I go to someone's gym and it's not very big, I look at the instructor and the first thing I notice is they're always trying to persuade people to come to their gym. And it's like, listen, man, take the hard, take the work, go to the hard tournaments, become something unique that nobody else knows about. And guess what? You'll start attracting people. Don't go around and beg people to come to your gym because it's just going to make you needy, okay? And you can do that in anything in life. So think about attracting people, not pursuing them. I hate pursuing people. It's not what I am. I did not become a used car salesman, and I thank God that I didn't. I found my ultimate purpose in life. Once I found my ultimate purpose in life, I just stayed focused on what I want to do, and there's a whole lot more stuff that I want to do. So if you're with me right now, stay around because you're going to see a whole bunch of other stuff that's going to happen throughout my lifetime. It's going to be interesting and I want you to be part of it too. So I'll talk to you guys later. You guys have a great evening. Bye.